chicas! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances Michelle. If you're tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna collection. Um, yeah, there's a ton of these videos out there, but my Snapchat fam requested that I film the video because they trust my opinion. So here it is, you guys. This is for my Snapchat family. And of course, for all those of you who clicked on the video and want to see my thoughts on this uh, line. So I was able to pick up three items only and I'm sorry that probably is not what you guys are like wanting to see but I feel like the main focus is this no filter foundation. So I'm super excited that I found a foundation my shade and I was able to purchase it and I only bought, I bought only three things from her line. We're the only three things available at my um, local Sephora. I went to like three Sephora's actually, and I called like seven. I'm pretty sure I called like the same Sephora like five times. Probably have my name, my number blocked. So let's jump right in it. I absolutely love Rihanna. Like Rihanna with her Palm the Replay and Hey Mr. DJ, some on your replay. And I just want to try to myself. And I just, I loved her. So when she came out with her line, I was like, that's pretty amazing. Like. I just love it. So let's just talk real quick about her line. Um, you guys have seen it here on YouTube, so I'm just gonna try to jump through it. Um, I thought the packaging was pretty street, pretty her. She's very street, she's very like, don't get me wrong, street as in ghetto, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like she's very like, like her style is very street style, that's what I wanna say. And I just loved her like vision when it came to packaging. like just that black and that nude color like that pretty nude color that everything has but then she made it on a splash of like like graffiti or something i just thought it was very street and i thought it was very very cool everything was very detailed it looks like she did spend quite some time designing her line so I was only able to pick up the foundation. I picked up a concealer and I picked up one of the duo um, uh, highlighters. Okay, so I grabbed this shade 220. As you guys know, she has a 40, she has 40 shades of her foundation. So that is amazing, Rihanna. Like she took the time to make sure every single woman out there can find a match to her foundation. So I thought it was pretty amazing. So the foundation, um, 220, it's a soft matte long wear foundation. It's called the Pro, Fil uh, Pro Filter Foundation. And I loved the packaging on it. It's so chic and so pretty. It's beautiful, as you guys have seen it um, already. It's just amazing and it has a pump and I was like, yes! So then the other thing I picked up was the concealer and the color that I picked out was the color linen. So it's like the third color in. So it's like one of the lightest. Love the packaging. I love the fact that the magnetic feel like you can just put these things together. That is pretty amazing. Like honestly speaking, I'm blown by that. This is a concealer. Um, it has that twist up concealer. Let's see how much product it has. Um, doesn't have that much product, honestly speaking, for $34, I think it was, this concealer. Um, but whatever, we'll see. And then the last thing I got was that duo highlight, and the color that I called, they, they had other colors, but the one that really called out my attention was the Kilowatt um, Duo, which the two colors in here are, oops, the two colors in here are Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. So I again that octagon um shape pretty cool i don't have anything this shape this is the color of it let me bring you guys closer look how beautiful those two colors are. the this screams out my name that pink p that pink champagne color that is me they had the other one which has like that lighter color but guys that is the concealer that I, that is the uh highlight that i'm wearing and you guys it's beautiful i absolutely love it pricing wise i thought it was pretty cool guys um it's not too expensive i thought the foundation was going to be more expensive this foundation was 34 dollars and it has it has 1.8 ounces 
So one moment. Okay, my holy grail foundation from the from the um from high end is this Nars Luminous Foundation. This Nars Luminous Foundation costs uh, I think forty eight dollars. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think it's forty eight dollars, forty eight to fifty four dollars, and it's thirty ml. And this one right here is thirty four dollars, and it's thirty two ml. So it has a little bit more, and it's cheaper. So pricing wise, I thought it was bomb for a foundation. Like I feel like when I run out of the foundation, I can go get me refills because it's not gonna cost me an arm and a leg when it comes to foundations. Let me see. No, I don't think I have anything else to say um, about the collection, what I just bought, but if you guys wanna see how I applied it, my thoughts on this foundation, and an update as to how long it lasted and if it lasted a while, then all you have to do is go ahead and keep on watching. So let's jump right into the products because, you know, introduction, I already talked about them. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I, like I said, I didn't buy the primer or anything like that. I just pretty much bought these three things because were the only things available for me to buy. So I already moisturized my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin with, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply primer on. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I love the fact that it has a pump. Any foundation that has pump for me is like, yes. So hopefully this doesn't get too dark for my skin. The texture of it, it's very, very lightweight. Um, it's very cream, uh, not creamy, it's just, the texture feels really nice, guys. It doesn't have a strong smell, so that's a plus. I like things that don't have a smell. She does have a beauty blender. Again, everything was out. Let's just test out these three products that I got. Um, the main important thing is the foundation is the main focus of her line. So let's just go ahead and um, use a damp beauty blender. And let's see how this turns out. I'm like, you know what? Let me see if this is really worth of the hype because everyone's obsessed with it. Um, first off the bat, very lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on my skin. The smell is not overwhelming. I feel like it doesn't have quite a smell, so that is a plus. Um, it feels really good, guys. I feel like I have nothing on my face. Like, But this here, you guys, can you guys see my face right now? I'm gonna put a before and after picture. So that's my face before, right now, and this is me right now. I feel like it has a pretty good coverage, just one. I'm gonna go in with two, make it a like full coverage. I think the coverage is pretty amazing. never brought you guys this close in my freaking life of filming like I've never brought you close up to see me so when I have you guys really close to me like the camera is really close to me and I'm not ashamed of you seeing the finished look of this foundation oh my god you guys it oxidizes quick pretty quickly so it'll turn a little bit darker but I think the color that I got is perfect for my skin tone at the moment. Love the fact that they have 40 different shades, people. I'm going to do one eye with a color corrector and then the other eye I'm gonna do it separately so you guys can see the coverage on the concealer. I love everything, like the whole packaging is just bomb. All right, so let's do this eye. Alright, let's go in with the um this shade that I grabbed is the color linen. It's like the third one in. Let's see if I grab a good color. I'm not good at matching concealer guys. Okay, the concealer. Not a fan right now. 
Um, it looks it it feels a little bit chalky. It doesn't feel creamy or smooth whatsoever when I apply like a concealer. Let's go ahead and use the beauty blender. So because this foundation is a uh, self matte, we are not, I'm not gonna go ahead and set my foundation with powder like I normally do. Okay, honestly speaking, not a fan of the concealer. Um, I like full coverage concealer, easy to blend. This is just pretty much um, all over the place. I feel like it didn't blend easily, it didn't blend well on my skin. I feel, I mean, you can see it. You can see the, it's not about the color. I think the color is perfect to brighten my under eyes and whatnot, but I just feel like the product did not do well on my skin. Like I just felt it from the beginning that it was too chalky. It wasn't that creamy texture. So because I'm gonna continue with my makeup all day, I'm gonna have to go over the concealer with my Shape Tray concealer. All right, so I'm just pretty much baking under my eyes um, because of the of the concealer that I used. I used my Shape Tray concealer, so I'm baking under my eyes for that. But other than that, I'm not touching my face with any um, powder. I love how it feels on my skin. It's dry, it dried off my skin completely. It doesn't feel wet, um, it doesn't feel sticky. I love the finish of the foundation, guys. Like, I like it, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just applying a little bit of bronzer, as you guys can see, on my crease all the way up to close to my brow bone. That's it, that's all I'm doing to the eyes. Now, let's put that um, highlighter to the test and yeah, no trophy wife, I know. Sorry guys. That's a beautiful color, guys. I just thought it was beautiful. Like, this screams me. Like, I know trophy wife, it's bomb, but I feel like trophy wife would be like for makeup artists or people who like to like... I'm, I like... I'm, I do like my highlight to pop, but I'm more of, a, I'm more of this type of person, guys. Anyways. I'm gonna use this one right here. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one right here with a small shading brush. To be honest. And I'm gonna apply that on my lid. Um, anyways, so now let's go ahead and move on to uh, my contour. Right now, I'm not wearing any powder. I didn't want to set my foundation because it feels really nice on my skin. I love the finish of the foundation, guys. Um, I normally set it with either my um, loose powder or just my regular powder, but I'm gonna just go ahead and just apply the contour powder on top of the foundation and see how well it blends. apply my contour because I feel like I don't know I feel like it gets since it's too wet it's too sticky it just doesn't blend my contour well but this I love how it blends well together like I said I didn't set my foundation I'm not gonna lie you guys I love the finish of this foundation okay so i use this one on my eyes i'm gonna use a mixture of both okay now let's use the other one the other one is called um girl next door let's go in with the girl next door girl Oh yes, that is the type of color of highlight that I like. Very subtle. Oh, that's not subtle, Francis. Look at that. 
Oh my god! Let's just throw some on here, some here too. Let's mix that up and throw some over here. Mix that up and throw some on my nose. Mix that up. And bring you guys closer so you guys can see the final finish of the foundation, guys. Like, honestly speaking, I have nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing bad to say about the foundation. Um, the highlight is super intense, super creamy. Um, I was not a fan of the concealers, you guys saw I had to oh, I had to put my own concealer. But the finish on the foundation though, like guys, seriously. The foundation <laughs> is bomb. Believe the hype. Um Again, I have nothing to lose when it comes to reviews. Like right now is one o'clock in the afternoon. I have to do some errands, I have to pick up my kid, I have to go grocery shopping, I have to do some cooking. So I'll be back in about five or six hours and um, I'll give you guys the update on this foundation as in how long did it last all day? Like if it lasted all day in the Florida wet weather and humidity. So yeah, stay tuned guys. So quick um, update on the foundation. It is six o'clock. You guys can see that I'm not lying. It is six o'clock on the dot right now. I've had it on for about six hours, I would say. And this is what it looks like. My skin still looks super fresh. It still looks intact. I haven't had to retouch it. I love how luminous my, skin, my, my face feels and looks. Um, it feels amazing. I don't see any like wear, wear out or any creasing whatsoever. I just feel like everything looks good. Everything is in its place and um, <clears throat> I'm pretty much safe to say that it it lasts for a very long time. Um, holds on the skin very well and it looks kind of oily. It's not, I'm not oily, it's just pretty much um, the highlight where I applied highlight but I'm not mad at it because it looks kind of like dewy my skin looks dewy but if you touch it it's not oily whatsoever and it doesn't feel anything like it doesn't feel bad at all so I have to say that this foundation I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 love the fact that it has a good amount of product in the jar the pricing is amazing. I have nothing bad to say about the foundation. Um, I'm not I'm not a fan of the concealer though. Um, we'll pass on to that. But I do have to say that I am in love with the um, highlight. I mean like, look at the highlight though. Like, I love this highlight. Um, yeah guys, honestly speaking, I have to give this foundation honestly a thumbs up. Anyways, um, yeah, I just, I give it thumbs up honestly speaking like again I have nothing to lose guys um, yeah anyways I really hope you like this video and if you guys want to see more review more first impressions of new upcoming products just let me know and I'll do my best to do my homework thank you guys for your love don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on my social sites as on Instagram and snapchat that's where I'm most of the time thank you for your love thank you for your support Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video bye